Welcome to MBLEX exam practice test. Our topic today is pathology, contraindications, areas of caution, special populations. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. What is not mentioned as an effect of massage on the parasympathetic nervous system? A. Increased volume of urine. B. Better digestion. C. Relaxation of the muscles. D. Deep breathing. The answer is A. Increased volume of urine. Explanation. Massage is known to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system as it promotes good digestion, deep breathing, more effective oxygenation of the blood, relaxation of the muscles, and the release of neurotransmitters responsible for happiness and pleasure. Number 2. To whom are anticholinergic drugs often prescribed? A. People suffering from hypertension. B. People with myasthenia gravis. C. People with Parkinson's disease. D. People suffering from bladder dysfunction. The answer is C. People with Parkinson's disease. Explanation. Anticholinergic drugs are often prescribed for people suffering from GI disorders, asthma, and some symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Number 3. What effect does digitoxin have on human body? A. Decreasing heart rate. B. Helping the heart pump more powerfully. C. Decreasing resistance in blood vessels. D. Increasing the volume of urine. The answer is B. Helping the heart pump more powerfully. Explanation. Digitoxin, such as linoxin, helps the heart pump more powerfully. This can be useful for patients who have congestive heart failure. Number 4. How do metodic inhibitors help to interrupt cancerous cell reproduction? A. By preventing enzymes from making proteins to build more cells. B. By interrupting the functioning of DNA at all stages of the cell cycle. C. By attacking the DNA of cancerous cells. D. By targeting the enzymes that help organize strands of DNA. The answer is A. By preventing enzymes from making proteins to build more cells. Explanation. Methodic inhibitors help prevent enzymes from making proteins to build more cells, thus interrupting cell reproduction. Some examples are Exempra, Belbin, and Emsit. Number 5. What is the common side effect of using clot management drugs? A. High heart rate. B. High blood pressure. C. Forceful heart pump. D. Excessive bleeding. The answer is D. Excessive bleeding. Explanation. Clot management drugs manage the body's ability to form blood clots. A common side effect is excessive bleeding because the patient will have difficulty forming scabs over any wound. Number 6. Why are there so many American adults suffering from type 2 diabetes? A. Because of the low quality of medical service. B. Because of the increase in obesity and unhealthy lifestyles. C. Because of the sedentary nature of their jobs. D. Because of the increase in unhealthy food. The answer is B. Because of the increase in obesity and unhealthy lifestyles. Explanation. Diabetes is a condition in which the body is unable to properly regulate glucose levels in the blood. Type 2 diabetes is very common in the American adult population due to the increase in obesity and unhealthy lifestyles. Diabetic clients may have a very specific diet and exercise regime and are often prescribed drugs to manage the disease. Number 7. Which of the following is only bought under the doctor's prescription? A. Hydrocodone. B. Acetaminophen. C. Aspirin. D. Ibuprofen. The answer is A. Hydrocodone. Explanation. 
Opioids, narcotic analgesics, are prescription drugs derived from opium, are highly addictive, and long-term use can cause physical and emotional problems, so they must be bought under the doctor's prescription. Number 8. How do peripherally acting muscle relaxants work to relieve the pain? A. They slow brain activity and inhibit nociception. B. They anesthetize the spasming muscle. C. They act directly on the spasming muscle or muscles. D. They provide the body with more of the hormones T3 and T4. The answer is C. They act directly on the spasming muscle or muscles. Explanation. Peripherally acting muscle relaxants, such as dantrium, act directly on the spasming muscle or muscles and can cause temporary instability. Number 9. Which of the following is made from natural thyroid glands of pigs and cows? A. Levoxyl. B. Synthroid. C. Unithroid. D. Westroid. The answer is D. Westroid. Explanation. Desiccated thyroid extract is a natural version of levothyroxin, with similar effects. Desiccated thyroid extract is made from the thyroid glands of pigs or cows. Some examples are naturothroid and westroid. Number 10. Which of the following statements is not true about herbal supplements and vitamins? A. Most of them can be bought over the counter. B. They are natural drugs made completely from plants. C. They are made from natural ingredients. D. They can interact in various ways with other drugs the client is taking. The answer is B. They are natural drugs made completely from plants. Explanation. Herbs and supplements are natural drugs made from plants, vitamins, and minerals. Most are available over the counter, which means that clients may take them without the supervision of a healthcare professional. Examples include vitamin C, iron supplements, folic acid, fish oil, magnesium, and probiotics. Herbs can also be prescribed by acupuncturists and other healthcare providers for very specific purposes. These natural remedies have been in use for thousands of years, long before the pharmaceutical industry existed. They can be extremely potent and can interact in various ways with other drugs the client is taking. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.